Now let's look at Python lesson seven. This is going to be a new program, and, and in this program, you're going to learn how to use sound. We're going to start with our warm up, of course. What is something you remember about variables? And we've used them for six lessons now. And what is something you remember about working with images? You've used them for a couple of lessons now as well. So think back to your other programs, fill in your warm up questions. Then you're ready for the overview of what you will be doing in this lesson. This program will show you two things, how to work with the sound file and how to use a picture as a toggle to turn the sound on and off. You're gonna use a template for this assignment. So you've got the code down here and you can click on it, but you might wanna just copy it and then go into your Chrome browser. So I'm doing control C, go to your Chrome browser, open a new tab and do a paste. Now you can start by putting in your name, putting in the date, the lesson, and the name of the program are already included for you. Step one, put your name and date, import the simple GUI module. So we need to do that as well. And we're not going to delete any code that comes with it. You'll only want to add. So you can see here on line six, I'm going to put import simple GUI. Check the spelling. And if you're not sure, I can see it here. I can also see it here. So I'm going to import the simple GUI. Now you can have a blank line if you'd like. So after I type import simple GUI, if I press enter, now this is on line six and this is line, on line eight. That's not really important that you know it's on a specific line, but that you're doing it in this order. Step two, add variables or information about the rooster image. So the rooster image is already there. I have my pick here, but if you remember the last two lines of code we needed in our other programs, I also have to talk about the image size. So IMG underscore SZ, and I'll get the size. And I also have to do the um, center, CTR. So I've got some code to type in there. And the size this time is 196 comma 218. So I'm gonna put that in parentheses, 196 comma 218. And then for my image center, there's a lot of typing right there and you might wanna just refer to um, your other programs or um, just, Go slow and steady because we have to do a lot of typing and it needs to be very exact. So you're going to add those two variables in there for step two. For step three, now we're going to talk about sound. We have to load a sound image very similar to how we added, a, how we loaded an image. So you can see on line eight, I have the simple GUI.load image. Here we're going to have the simple GUI.load sound. And I'm going to put a URL there and it's going to be quotation marks just like our image was. And then I'm going to set a volume. This is going to be very similar. I could even kind of copy this part and then make some changes. So instead of image, I'm going to put sound. And then I've got the sound file right here on the slide, so you don't have to worry about um, mistyping it. I can copy this, do a control C. I'm going to come here and paste it. And remember to end with the quotation mark and a parenthesis. So if I did a single quotation mark here, I'll do a single quotation mark here. And then, of course, my end parentheses. And I'm going to set the volume. And so it's going to be crowing um, is going to be my sound. And so I want to change this. Right now I have my pick equals. I'm going to have this be crowing. It's going to be the sound. And then I'm going to have crowing dot volume. And then I need some number between zero and one. So one is the loudest and zero would be silent. I put 0.7 so you can hear it, but it's not too loud. You can pick a different number if you want. But this is what it's going to go from zero to one. Uh, the, the lightest to the loudest. Okay, now you need to create or define, so this is supposed to be the word or here, a draw handler function. You have used a draw handler function in every program, but they were started for you. This time you will create your own draw function. Remember to be careful with the typing and be very exact. It will include three lines of code, two lines of text, and one for the image. So I'm going to have you pause right now and type in all of this code. 
and because it is kind of a lot and um, we'll meet back in a minute when you have all of your code typed in. You can go to the slide and look at the picture there if you need to remember what your text looks like. So we've got our code typed in. You can take a look, and I did notice I made a mistake earlier, so I want you to take a look at your volume. And I forgot to put the set underscore before the volume, so if you did the same thing as me, you want to go ahead and put that in. And your draw canvas should be right underneath, so make sure that you don't put it after start, that you have it here um, in between your, your um, UI code and your function and your variables. So I've got my draw canvas in here. And I've got my three lines of code that I needed typed very carefully. And I can run it and no errors. Now, of course, it's not going to work yet, but you should have no errors to this point. So step four, you need to define or draw. Or, uh, so step four, run your program. The text and image of the rooster will be displayed, but no sound will play. To save your program, you must keep track of the URL. So this is a good time to do so. I'm going to click on my save. I'm going to copy this URL at the top. Control C, come to my code, type it down here, Control V. Next slide, step five. In previous programs, you added functions for button handlers. This program will not have any buttons, but it will have a mouse click. So we're going to define a function for the mouse click handler. We're going to do this just above the draw. So you can even take a look at the line number. You can see that it's going to be higher than the draw. So I'm going to start with def mouse click. And I need a parameter called pause right there in the parentheses. And I'm going to have a variable called inside, and it's going to equal false. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to give myself some space in between. I'm going to do def mouse click. And I need to have pause and then my um, two my colon. I'm going to have inside equals and false. And the Capitalization of the F is important. That's how they do it in Python. So the pause gives the function the location of the mouse click. Pause is short for position. The inside variable is Boolean, so it's going to be true or false. And you will use it to know when to play the sound of the rooster. So if I'm clicking on it, I make it true. And when I'm clicking on the outside of it, I make it false. So I play the sound or I don't. Now we're going to add more code to the mouse click function. This will compare the location of the mouse click with the location of the rooster. So remember that pause uh, parameter, and I have to take the X part and the Y part. So once again, there's going to be a lot of typing here. You're going to pause the video, and I'll let you type all this in, and then we'll meet back in a, in a few minutes when you have it all typed in, and start the video back again. All right, so you should have um, completed all this code. Be careful, very careful with your spelling, with your indenting. You know, when you have a minus, when you have an underscore, when you have a square bracket. Uh, we don't have any parentheses right now, so make sure you're using the correct punctuation when we have our colons and then the word not. So be very careful about all of this. And, and if, you, if you run it and you're finding some kind of error, then make sure you go ahead and fix it right now before you go on, because otherwise it'll be harder and harder to find it to fix. Okay, step six explained. The, if, the first if statement looks at the X position of your mouse, and the second if statement looks at the Y position of your mouse, and it's going to determine if you're clicking somewhere inside that picture. If so, the Boolean inside the inside variable will turn to true. Otherwise, it's going to stay false. You will add just a little bit more code to the mouse click function. This part will start or stop the sound file you loaded at the beginning of your program. So once again, be careful with your indenting. You can see where this is being indented um, is equal with the inside of the first if. And this is going to be a very simple if statement. If inside, we're going to play the sound, else we're going to rewind or basically stop and start it over again. So let's type this part in. I'm going to come here. When I press enter, I have to backspace all the way to this if statement. If inside, which is Boolean, so it's true or false, then I want to play. So this is going to be crowing.play with parentheses and backspace, else colon crowing.rewind with parentheses. Okay, so check your code with the example. Make sure you have everything. Invented correctly, spelled correctly, punctualized correctly. 
run your program. Even though you added code for the mouse click, you should notice that a mouse click doesn't have any effect. Let's see. So I'm clicking and nothing's happening, but it's a good thing that I don't have any errors. That is because you haven't linked the function to the event yet. And so we're going to add code to your main section down, down here where we do the user interface. Um, to link the function to the mouse click event. So I need to add this line of code like we would add a button or add a label. I'm going to add a set mouse click. It's very similar to the set draw handler. Okay, and it's even called a handler, isn't it? So frame.set underscore mouse click underscore handler. And then I call the function by putting it in parentheses. So I'm going to come down here where I have my frame. I'm going to give myself some space. Frame.set underscore mouse click underscore handler and then in parentheses I say my function which is mouse click. Check your spelling again. Run your program. When you click on the rooster the crowing sound should play. When you click off the rooster the sound should stop. So I've got my rooster here. Click off and it stops. Okay that's exactly and if I clicked again it should play. And I click off and it stops. To save your program, you must keep track of your URL. So this is a good time to do it. I'm going to click the save button. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy my URL. I'm going to paste it. And I'm ready for the next slide. Change your program so that clicking on the picture starts and stops the sound. Clicking anywhere other than the picture has no effect. Start this challenge by adding a global variable for the Boolean. So I'm going to put, I'm going to make inside false. So, I mean, it's going to make it global. So I'm going to come up here to the very top where I have all my other variables. And I'm going to put inside equals false. And I'm just doing it up here near the top, uh, right underneath my simple GUI. It could be anywhere in the top, but I like to put it right there. And then I'm going to make it global inside my mouse click. So I'm going to come right here, mouse click. I didn't make it global before, but now. I have to add in that line of code. And then what I'm going to take off is this part right here. So I delete one line and let's see if we got it to work. So I'm going to click on the rooster. I'm going to click the rooster again and it stopped. I'm clicking here and nothing is going to happen. I'm going to the rooster. I click it. So it looks like it's working really good. Also, you can change your instructions on the draw function. So right now we said click the picture instead of saying click off the picture. So I'm going to come up here to my line 20. For me, it's line 20. It's in my draw canvas where I said click off the picture to stop. I can say click the picture again to stop. So something like that. You can make the instructions kind of however you want. So click the picture to start, click the picture again to stop. And we've got a nice working program. Run your program again. It should run so that when you first click the rooster, the crowing starts. And when you click it again, the crowing stops. Save your program and uh, do your wrap up. And that is lesson seven.